I want us to go to Genesis chapter 12. A very familiar passage of scripture and I want to talk about Abraham. Mm, my God. And the call on his life. Mm -hmm. When you talk about generational blessings, you can't leave Abraham out. That's all right. Because of the Abrahamic covenant that God made with Abraham. Amen. Let's go to Genesis chapter 12. For those of you that will be taking notes, this God deals with Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, and I want you to write down Genesis chapter 15. Because something transitioned in Abraham's life between those two chapters. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Amen. And about 20 to 25 years passed by in his life yes, Lord. between those two chapters. From when God called him mm. to God made a covenant with him. My, my, my. my God. Amen. Amen. Before God, before you can walk in the promises of God, God has to first call you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. Choose you. He said, yes. you didn't choose me, the Bible said. He said, I chose you and ordained you to bring forth fruit. Amen. Let's look at Genesis chapter 12. And I'd like the, the reader to read verses 1 through 4. Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country. Get out of the country. And from thy kindred. And away from your family. And from thy father's now house. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to be disconnected from family. Amen. Watch this. Amen. If God is doing something in you. Right. Right. Now if you have another personal agenda or something, that's different. But when God separates you from family so that he can do a work in your life, it's for his glory and for his honor. Are y'all listening right, to me? Right. Read. And from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. See, I'm going to take you to a land that I will show you. Uh -huh. And I will make of thee a great nation. I will make of you a great nation. And, and. I will bless thee. I will bless you. And make thy name great. And make your name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. He said, you shall be a blessing. Someone say, I am a blessing. I am a blessing. Say, I am a blessing to my family. I am a blessing to my family. I am a blessing to my church. I am a blessing to my church. I am a blessing to everyone. I am a blessing to everyone. That I come in contact with. That I come in contact with. Read. And I will bless them that bless thee. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to bless anyone who blesses you, I'll bless them. Right. Uh -huh. And curse him that curseth thee. Mm -hmm. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now what we have to understand here, God says, telling Abraham and you, I'm going to bless every family on the face of the earth. Amen. This is not an ordinary promise. This is not something that's easy for Abraham to accept. Because what you have to understand is at this time, Abraham does not have a relationship with God. Yeah, 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 he does yeah. not know the Lord. Are uh -huh. y'all listening to me? Amen. So now read that next book, that last verse and then we'll move on. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. Mm -hmm. And Lot went with him. And Abram was 17 and 5 years old when he departed out of him. One more verse. And Abram took Sarah, his wife, he took Sarah, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, his nephew, and all their substance that they had gathered, all they had, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. The land of what? Canaan. Canaan. The Talk. land of what? Canaan. Canaan. Milk and honey. That was the land of promise. Yeah. Yeah. That was the promised land. Right. Uh huh. And into the land of Canaan they came. You may be seated. Somebody say, I'm destined. I'm destined. I am destined. I am destined to make it. To make it. To the promised land. To the promised land. I am destined. I am destined. To make it. To make it. Into the promised land. Now give God a hand for us. I'm destined. I'm determined. I wouldn't have it no other way. To make it into my promise. Yes. 
And I want you all to know that God was not talking about heaven. Right. Y'all listen to me? Amen. He was not talking about the promised land being heaven. He was talking about a land flowing with milk and honey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Land that was full of prosperity. A land that was full of blessings. In other words, God is getting ready to make a covenant with Abraham and bless him. And he said, in blessing, I will bless you. And I will multiply you. Are oh, y'all listening to me? How I many of you want to be blessed and multiply? In other words, God will take everything you have now and not add to it, but multiply. Now my question is, can you handle that? So, it's something very important before I go any further. We have to understand about Abraham. Abraham had something about his himself that, that God loved. And that is that Abraham said one day, for me in my house, and he just said like Joshua said it. But the Bible said Abraham commanded everyone in his house to serve the Lord. My, my. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Not, I, I, did I lose somebody? Yeah. I said he commanded everyone in his house to serve the Lord. Are y'all with me? So much so that his own wife called him Lord. Uh, amen. Uh-oh. I didn't lose it right there. In other words, Sarah had great respect for her husband because Abraham loved the Lord and he reverenced God. Amen. So the Bible says he was 75 years old here. Praise the Lord. And uh, God called him out and told him to leave the place where he was living. Can you imagine getting a word from God? Uh, Abraham going to his wife and saying, God told me we got to move. God said, well, he's going, well, where are you going, honey? I don't know, but God just wants us to move. You know, you, you have to be careful. I, I, I hear a lot of, uh, I've heard young ladies say they want a husband for a preacher. Uh, a preacher for a husband. You have to be careful what you ask God for. Huh? Do you want a man like Jesus? <laughs> I didn't get any amens there. But Abraham obeyed God, and the Bible says it was accounted to him. He believed God. It was accounted to him for what? For righteousness. Now let's look at the text. Somebody said, look at the text. <laughs> Chapter 12, verse 1. The Lord said to Abraham, get out of the country from your kinfolks and from your father's house unto a land that I will show you. Are you with me? And I will make of you a great nation. Well, In other words, he said, I'm going to expand who you are. In generational blessings, God does not just want to bless the, the, the man of the house or the woman of the house, the father or the mother. He wants to bless the children and the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren. In other words, God to put a blessing on your life that the devil can't shake off when you long gone away from this world. Come on, somebody. In other words, when I leave this land, because the Bible says a good man will leave an inheritance to his children's children, that means God has promised me that he will bless me if I'm a good man. If I walk upright, he, he's going to bless my children and he's going to multiply me so much. You cannot hold on to the reputation you had in the world. 
All right. and try to be great in the church. All right. Help today. If you want God to change your name, mm. you might have to change your name from Dr. Dre. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You want a holy name. Yeah. Amen. I need nobody to change your name. Yeah. You change it. Yeah. <laughs> 